So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our giant anteater. We're going to go to insert Z sphere, X to go across X symmetry, E to scale it down, W to move it out of the way. And then again, I just have my custom menu up here. So density of one, so I don't have to go all the way down here to adapt to skin. Um, density of one, dynamesh down to zero. And then instead of just going into edit topology, what I'm going to do is go to select topology. So I guess I do have to go down here. I don't do this very often, but that's why I don't have it in my custom menu. So underneath uh, topology here, there's a select topology option. So we're going to select our clone that we made. And now you can control drag, control shift tap. Uh, we're in X symmetry mode. So now we can just go through here. Let's go to matte cap and darker gray. And now we can just go through here and we can clean this up. So right around the eyes, I think the mouth is actually fine and the nose is okay, uh, but the eyes are just not going to work. So I could go in there and like, oh, I could have just made some curves and hope that it followed them a little bit. Let's go ahead also and turn off these eyeballs so we don't stick to them. But now what I can do is hold down, uh, we're in draw mode, and we're in uh, edit topology mode. So turn on edit topology, and now we can hold down alt. Let me just clear this out, and then I can go through here and draw. Let's also turn off transparent here. There we go. And now we can move these things around, hit Q, and now we can just manually go in here and draw our topology as needed. So I'm going to have this follow the shape of the eye a little bit better. Kind of round it out here. And again, make your draw size pretty small. And then now we can just go through here and very quickly dial in these edges that we want. So I'm going to take this one here and we're going to go up and in. And then we're going to go down and around. And then we're going to do one more edge loop right in here. And again, you can use control and I think shift. I'm so used to just tapping off that uh, I'm a little bit inefficient. But uh, man, once you build a habit, it's really hard to break it. And again, I'm not overly concerned about beautiful topology, especially if something's going to be covered in hair. Uh, but you should do due diligence and make sure that your topology is good. And I will do a little bit of a cleanup pass. What I like to do is just do my retopology in ZBrush and then do my cleanup pass in Maya just because they're poly tools. Um, I'm just a little bit more used to them. But you could also use ZModeler to clean up your topology and then use Project All to make sure it projects back to the surface. Looks like I got a little extra one in there. There we go. So now we're just kind of going back and forth. And then again, moving as needed. And then here, and you could use any old retopology. You could be like, oh, I want to use Topogun. Oh, I want to use Quadra. Oh, I want to use this. Well, feel free to export all this shit out and do that. I personally, not a big fan. Like by the time I had this thing exported out and got it ready to draw stuff in another program, I'm probably already done with it in ZBrush. But there are good tools out there and also not having to retopologize this whole thing manually um, is nice. And also, I can use programs like Instalod to give me LOD versions of this. So if I do need to do something that's a little bit more lower res, I can go through and just use those. And if I put a little thing in there, again, I can just tap and draw one in there and then hold down Alt and get rid of that. So now that we got this, let's go ahead and just put these eyelids in here. And then we'll go up. Let's move this over one. Like we need a little bit more resolution through here. Connect these up, and tap off, go through here, and then just start connecting these up. And then this one, this one, and then finally this one, this one. And then these two, I can resolve. These are really ugly triangles over here, so we'll get, we'll get rid of those in just a second. And then close, close. Uh, I guess we can draw this one all the way through here, here. And then let's see if we can resolve some of these. I'm going to take this one back here, and then we can get rid of this one. And then this one here could be a quad. We'll try that through here. And then when it saves your file, just make sure you go back into Edit Topology because it will bump you out of Edit Topology mode. That's a feature so you don't get a corrupt file. And then through here, let's go ahead and start capping some of this off. So I'll take this triangle. And then through here, I can take this edge loop and go all the way around. Let's go ahead and just do that. 
You can see it's going to snap to the midline or the quarter line, and I think the midline is fine for our purposes here. So we got this built in, we got this, we got this edge captured. Let's go ahead and take this triangle over to this triangle. And then we'll delete that one and then we'll move this one here. And then uh, this one isn't too ideal, but I think it'll be all right. And then this one isn't either. So we can go ahead and make this one a quad. And now we've got these two triangles here. So we'll just stick this triangle right into here. Got another triangle here. We can continue this back and meet it up here, but I think we'll be okay. And then we got one more leftover area, and Z, um, Z spheres will actually uh, resolve that for you, but I think we'll be okay. And let's go ahead and hold down Shift, turn off Dynamic. All right, yeah, Shift and Double Tap, I think. And now we can get a really small brush size there. I like to keep dynamic on for my brushes if I can, but if you're ever working at a certain scale and it won't let you, just turn dynamic off. And then there we go. Something like this. And then if we really wanted to, we can go through here. And then we can just move these things around. So now we've got quads in this area here. Okay, so let's say that's our topology. Same on both sides. And then we can go into A. That'll make it our adapt to skin preview. We've got the skin density at one. So I'm just going to go ahead and say make adapt to skin. And then we can go in here to insert our skin Z sphere. We don't need the Z sphere anymore. So go ahead and delete it. And now we've got a brand new skin with our eye modeled in. The rest of the body's fine. So now we can just go through and uh, start projecting our details back. So we've got just these two showing. You can see that. So now I can just go here to project all. Hit M, yeah. And we have uh, X turned on. We can hit Control D and then project all. Control D, project all. And if we want to, we can also turn on solo mode. As long as that's still visible, we can see what kind of details we're picking up. So let's do Control D one more time and then project all. And I think we'll be back to kind of where we started. So we can flip between these and like, here's my DynaMesh, here's my Ziri Mesh. No difference at all. So we don't need this DynaMesh anymore. We can hit delete and now we just have our Ziri mesh here um, with subdivisions uh oh looks like we got a hole on one side of his head hmm that's not good let's go back down to subdivision level one and okay before you do project and project all go ahead and do a quick um, mirror let's go delete higher We'll do a quick mirror and then mirror and weld. And now I get rid of that. Uh, I should have checked both sides. I assumed it was mirrored, but uh, sometimes these spheres can get a little bit wonky. Um, so now that we have that, of course, we've lost our high res because we deleted it. That's okay. So we'll go ahead and do a save as. And this will be Ant Eater 2 Z Remesh. And now we can load up our tool of the giant anteater to, I can do delete other. And then go back to my Ziri mesh. We can go to insert and we can just reinsert our original high res sculpt. So no big deal. Now we have our Ziri mesh here. We've got no more holes. And now again, project all, control D, project all, control D, project all. And one more, control D and project all. Whew. Okay.